Hi, I'm Myrna. Thank you for joining me. So it's that time of year again when we are all on the lookout for colds, flu, or the dreaded C-19. In addition to all of the physical illnesses that are out and about, and trust me, I've been down with one the last week, so I feel you, we can all get this. We also need to keep an eye out for the symptoms of ascension flu. Now, ascension flu is what happens when you have taken your body to the vibrational point of the next level and your physical body needs time to adjust to this change in vibration that you have created within yourself. So in a way, it's a very good thing because it shows that all of the hard work you have been doing to move into a higher vibration is paying off. But on the other hand, while you're dealing with the transition, it can really suck. So let's take a quick look at what the 10 most common Ascension flu symptoms are and why you have to deal with them. Now keep in mind, this is all a response of your physical body shifting into a higher vibration that you have already established, okay? All right, so one of the first things that you notice is you'll get random aches and pains. The muscle aches can be intense. And this is because as you are physically changing, your muscles, which are pre-programmed into the old you, are trying to return to that pre-programmed set point. They're trying to return to what they know. However, since you are forcing this vibration to move into a higher phase, then the vibration of your muscles is changing, which is causing some tension. That tension then leads to tension pains, tension aches. This can, um, be met in a number of ways. You can always take analgesics to uh, try to ease the tension. I don't recommend it, but if that is what it takes for you, don't just say no medicines at all because let's face it, we have palliative cares for a reason. So the other things you can do, hot showers, hot baths, hot tubs are wonderful because these things all force the muscles into a state of relaxation. So. Anything along those lines, standing under a hot shower with the hot water pounding on your shoulders can help ease up muscles throughout your entire back. The other way you can approach this is by doing meditation forms such as uh, stretching yoga. And that will stretch out the muscles and force them to accept the change in vibration a little more quickly than they would otherwise. Okay, so the next thing that we tend to get a lot of is headaches. Oh boy, do we get the headaches. Now, some of those headaches are a response to the tension in your muscles, particularly if these muscles along through here get tensed up, then that can, um, to some level, restrict the blood flow, which does cause a headache. It can also trigger migraine pains throughout the, throughout the head if you're prone to those. And then there is the whole vibrational effect of the migraine too, because again, as you are changing your vibration, your brain is starting to physically vibrate at a different rate. Adjusting to that change in vibration can be interpreted as pain. If you are prone towards migraines, then any of these changes can trigger a migraine headache, and we all know how not fun those can be. So, what can we do? There is uh, pressure therapy, pressure massage, just, you know, I'm sure we all do this on even a subconscious level or even putting pressure right here can help with it. There is addressing the muscle tension to try and relieve any tension headaches that way. There is aromatherapy, particularly lavender oil is very effective at forcing the muscles into relaxing and thereby easing off on the pain it's giving you in your head. Now, Obviously, do not do lavender therapy. If you're allergic to lavender, that's only going to make things worse. <laughs> so take all of these tips and make them apply to your situation as appropriate. Don't expect them to be blankets for everybody. Next thing that tends to happen, your sinuses tend to clog up a little bit. You get a runny nose, stuffy nose. Again, this is a response to the change in vibration. As your vibrational speed is changing throughout your sinuses, this is causing the mucous membranes to produce more than they normally would. 
treat this as you would over the counter any stuffy nose. It's just one of those things that as your body adjusts to the change, it will go away on its own, but it is a fairly common symptom. So keep an eye out for it. Next one, sore throats. Particularly if you are a person who has traditionally ignored your throat chakra, if you have had a tendency to watch your words, if you have not spoken your truth, you can expect a sore throat as that throat chakra starts to crack wide open and you express yourself more. Now, some of that will also be post nasal drip from the, from the clogged sinuses, but most of what you're feeling in your throat, most of that sore throat feeling, most of that feeling of having a frog in your throat, like you're having to talk past something, is that chakra opening up. Now, the best way to deal with this is start listening to uh, meditative music that is designed to help with healing and expressing the throat chakra. You can find a number of those videos out on YouTube. And start utilizing your throat chakra more. If you would like to go get a chakra clearing, this is a wonderful time to do that because it will help with opening up that passageway too. But the more you speak your truth, the more practice you get in saying what is true to you instead of holding back, the more you are putting the real you out there, the more that is going to ease up, the easier it is going to get to express yourself. And the more you are going to find yourself having the need to say these things. You'll no longer be speaking past a lump in your throat. It will be gone and the truth will flow out of you which is the, really the state that we're supposed to be in. So the next thing that tends to happen, and this is one that surprises a lot of people, is tinnitus. Now tinnitus is that high pitched ringing that you get in your ears. A lot of people will experience this when they are receiving an energetic download from the universe. So as that extra energy comes in, again, your vibration is physically changing. As your vibration physically changes, the little three bones and the uh, snail shell that we all have inside of our heads, everyone saw that diagram in elementary school, right? The fluids in the inner ear mechanism are changing their vibration. Now, we've been vibrating since birth. We all know this. This is part of what it means to be human is we have our vibrational frequency. That fluid has been constantly moving our entire lives. However, our brain has gotten used to filtering out the sound of the fluid movement so that it can then interpret the um, audible sounds that are coming in to the, to the fluid. So as your vibration changes, the sound of the fluid movement will also shift. Your brain has not learned to filter this sound out yet. As you move along into this new vibration, your brain will learn to recognize that background noise and filter it out just as effectively as it had, as it had filtered out the sound of the previous vibrational level. Again, this is just something and it takes a matter of time. The longer you, the longer you are on the process, the, the more times you go through going through a vibrational ascension and going through ascension flu, the more you'll recognize how these all work together. But the tinnitus surprises a lot of people, but it's nothing to be scared of. And it's not a sign that, you know, your hearing is being permanently damaged by your vibrational change. Now the other side of that, the flip side to the tinnitus is you can be more sensitive to various sounds. Again, because the vibrational level of the fluid in your inner ear is changing, it is interpreting sounds coming in on a different level. So sounds that may not have previously been even noticeable to you, a car driving by on the street with the radio thumping perhaps, suddenly get really, really annoying. You hear them a lot differently than you used to. Or the, the uh, opposite may happen. You may not notice other sounds as much. Again, this is all a matter of your brain learning to filter out irrelevant background fre frequency noise from the sounds that are coming in, and it does even out over time. So now let's get into some of the more effective 
or more life affecting physical symptoms. Temperature fluctuations happen. As you are vibrationally shifting, your body temperature is also going to fluctuate as you are adjusting to your new vibration. And this fluctuation can go either way. It can go up or down. It is not unusual to have swings within the course of a single day. You may go from your temperature suddenly being at 96 degrees to then popping up to around 99. This can happen in a matter of minutes. It could happen solely over hours. It could take several days. Again, this is the vibrational frequency of your body shifting. As your vibration changes, the amount of heat you produce in response to that vibration, because remember, if we are physical beings, physical vibration produces heat, will change. Your body is attempting to regulate that change on the autonomic level. So as it is trying to even out to what the new norm is going to be, you're going to go through a wide variety of temperature fluctuations. This is normal. It is not, you know, it's only coming down with, a, with some sort of unknown virus. It is just your body adjusting to the change. And it can take a week or more for your body to fully make this adjustment. Along with the fluctuating temperature, one of the most frightening of the um, changes can be changes in your heart rate. Now, if you are prone towards any sort of heart problem, go see a doctor as soon as you notice anything happening. If you notice anything that makes you seriously concerned for your long-term health, go see a physical doctor. I am not a physical doctor. I do not claim to be one. I'm just telling you how this vibrational change is affecting you. So, what this change can do is sometimes it'll make your heart beat faster. Sometimes it'll make you feel like your heart is beating slower. You are going through the physical vibrational change. Your physical body is resisting the change by trying to return to the set point. And while that whole, you know, push pull is playing out, it can change your heart rate. Again, heart palpitations, if it's just a brief thing, like maybe an anxiety attack out of nowhere that comes in, swoops through, and is gone before you barely even noticed it, don't panic. However, if you're having extended heart palpitation issues, please, please, please seek medical help. Don't listen to me on the internet anymore. Go and get a doctor's recommendation, okay? Okay. Now, the one that I've been feeling a lot lately is changes in appetite. As your vibration shifts, your energetic needs are going to shift as well. Now, this could manifest as needing more energy or needing less or needing energy from different sources. So it could be that you're going to be you know, suddenly ravenous for raw vegetables, but you can't stand the thought of another hamburger. That's okay. As you vibrationally shift, your body's needs will change. So listen to your body. Honor and respect what your body is telling you it needs. If your body is telling you you need more protein, take in more protein. If you need more green leafies, take in more green leafies. Even if you think it's something that you previously did not like, the shift in your vibrational frequency has also affected your taste buds. So something that you previously could not stand eating may suddenly be the most delicious food in the world. This is also a normal side effect of ascension. So as you're going through this shift and changes, expect your appetite to change. It may vary widely. It may, you know, go up for a while. It may go down for a while. You may feel like you, you know, don't need to eat at all anymore. Please make sure that you continue eating enough to stay healthy. But beyond that, listen to and respect what your body is telling you you need. Your body knows more than you realize. Okay? Okay, good. And the last two kind of are related, so I'm just going to lump them all together because this video is already getting longer than I'd like. So, and it has to do with your energy levels and your sleep cycles. Now, your energy levels are going to vary. They always do anyway, they always have. As you're going up in vibration, 
your body is requiring different energetic sources to maintain that vibration. If you're not meeting those energetic sources, you may feel lethargic, you may feel worn down, you may feel just <sighs> for a bit. And that's okay. Recognize that your body needs something and start doing the deep dive to see what it is your body needs. This is also going to be reflected in your sleep cycles. Quite often as we are moving into a new vibrational frequency, particularly as we're moving into higher vibrational frequencies, insomnia is very common or changes to your sleep cycle so you want to sleep at different times of the day. And while this can be really inconvenient when you're still trying to hold down a nine to five job, honor it as much as you can. Your body is shifting and it is telling you what it needs as it needs it. So the best way to deal with all of the symptoms of ascension flu, listen to your body, pay attention to what's going on, recognize that the most um, frequency related issues, the headaches, muscle aches, and so on, generally won't last more than a week or so as your body adjusts. Sleep disturbances, those could last a little bit longer. But you know, pay attention to what the changes are. Keep a journal. The more you keep a physical log of what you're going through and when, the easier it will be for you to see the patterns, especially as you go through ascension multiple times throughout your life. So I hope that this has cleared up Ascension Flu a little bit. I hope this has put any fears you may have about Ascension Flu to rest. If you would like to uh, you know, chat with me personally, go to my website, marnarenee.com, and drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to walk you through the various signs of Ascension Flu. I'm Marna. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful day.